Sunday afternoon baseball on the show as we welcome you inside Fenway Park in Boston. Today we've got a contest out of the American League East between the New York Yankees and the Boston Red Sox. Get ready for Red Sox baseball next. Nate Valdi, a right-hander from the state of Texas, is the man on the mound here. What do we need to know here, Danny? A huge arm comes with Nathan Eovaldi up towards 95 to 100 miles an hour, all the way back from Tommy John surgery. Power pitcher deluxe. His best swing and miss pitch, though, is the split finger. He'll throw that to both righties and lefties. Here's the second the baseman, DJ LeMayhew, and the we are ready for some daytime DJ. baseball. First delivery to him on the way. And a fastball's in there for strike one. Really starting to pour now, and the forecast is not showing any signs of a break in the weather. Total agreement, Matt, in particular that pitcher's mound. You know, one of the things you have to really be careful, First not just for the position Recap. players, but that mound gets awfully slippery and awfully wet when it becomes moist like it is right now. So the umpires are going to have to really pay attention to the conditions on the field. The 1 1 home. He swings at the fastball here and lifts it into the air to shallow center. And he will get there to make the running catch as that ball hung up just a little bit too long. With that, here's a look at the Yankees' starting lineup. How do they go about taking down their division rival, Mark DeRosa? Well, Maddie, this team can do one thing very well. This lineup leads the league in home runs, and that's why people pay the price of admission. They want to see the long ball. Everybody loves home runs, and it's exactly what this lineup gives you. They get count leverage 1-0, 2-0, 3-1. Don't look for that base hit the other way. They are trying to turn and burn. Now the pitch. Nope, A ball and no strikes. The 1 0. Misses ball two. That's the kind of pitch that reminds me of many reasons why I wasn't a very good hitter. This thing was inside and coming in hot, and he just gave a stone cold take. I'm bailing out of the way if I'm in the box, no doubt about it. Lifted the other way out to left center. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. That is third. So bases are empty here with two gone, and that'll bring up the former American League Rookie of the Year, Big Aaron Judge. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Chopper to short. Bogarts has it. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. So the Yanks go one, two, three. Yanks nothing. Sox coming to bat. It's Major League Baseball on the show. Jordan Montgomery will be the starter in this one for the Yankees. Dan, any thoughts? Well, as you can see, he's a tall drink of water out there, especially on the mound. That can really work to your advantage because you work on more of a downhill plane and you typically get more extension to the plate on your release. The key, though, is that he has to be out front with his release point Leading or off. he'll be more Hello, likely Red to miss Tom. up in the zone. Go Stepping up, in, here. Andrew Benintendi. Andrew. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. First pitch fastball in there for a called strike. Well, this Yankee ball club entering play this afternoon here. Despite that loss last time out, they're still on a pretty nice run as they'd won six in a row prior to that. Yeah, guys, dropping yesterday was a heartbreaker without question. But you know what? You find a way. You show up to the yard today, you get out of the cab, and you watch countless hours. Meanwhile, now, this is a drive out the straightaway right field, and it's going to get out of here. A home run. Andrew Benintendi leaves the yard with a solo shot. Number 10 for him on the year. As the Red Sox get the game's first run, it's one to nothing. Great swing right there. Sometimes 
You just see that ball pop out of that pitcher's hand just a little bit different than that fastball. And he was able to stay back, keep his front shoulder locked, and take that off-speed pitch deep. Dustin Pedroia to show you what he did in May versus what he's done so far at the plate in June. Here comes the first pitch. Fastball too high to start him out here, one and zero. One oh home to Pedroia. Ball two now. Pedroia, affectionately nicknamed Laser Show, he was taken in the second round back in the 2004 first year player draft. Yeah, Maddie, they certainly got it right when they drafted this guy. He has turned himself into an absolute superstar. Everybody knows this guy's name, and kids are buying his jerseys. That's evidence of a pitcher and catcher being totally in sync out there. That tells me they both know that's a good pitch for him right now. High and deep down the left field line. And that will end up a foul ball. The 2 2. And another foul ball. Base is empty here with nobody out. And good patience to hold back on the curveball in the dirt. It's full now, three and two. J.D. Martinez waits on deck. Fouled away. The three, two, one more time. Here's another one that's drilled this one to left and he's going to have room to put this one away and that's the first out with that, that here's how the hometown Red Sox well, line up in this one thoughts Dan who stands out. Yeah I'm pretty excited to get a chance to watch Sander Bogarts do his thing. He's up to a nine game streak right now and that's something to build on. That'll get you a little bit of attention too. get the 10 and we'll start talking about the Maggio. No just kidding. Nine is a nice start though. Here's J.D. Martinez. One run in and one gone so far this inning. Here's the first pitch to him. Curveball, and that misses in the dirt for ball one. And they won't get him to chase the curveball in the dirt that time, and it's 2 0 now. Now, ball two. Back to back breaking pitches. I think if right now you really have to try to get the best pitch you can get in the zone, you have to throw it right here. 3 and 0 now. I wouldn't be surprised if he had the green light here. Matter of fact, I know he's got the green light here. He's looking for something set or cut, and he's looking to do damage. Here it comes, the 3 0. Finds the zone, strike one. Hey, that 3 0 pitch might have been important for him right there. Regroup, get his mechanics back under him, and drive something down through the strike zone. Wouldn't throw the exact same pitch right here. Might want to cheat towards one of the corners. The 3 1. And the curveball drops too low. They lost him. It's ball four. And don't forget, he gave up a long ball earlier in this inning, so you can understand why he wasn't too aggressive with him there. When he got him to three and one, he wasn't too anxious to challenge him. Standing in, Mookie Betts. In his career versus this pitcher, not great, and he's one for eight. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. To second for one. On to Voigt. An inning ending double play. 
The Red Sox are on the board thanks to the solo home run. Second inning coming up and it's one nothing Boston. Start of the second here in Boston. Let's check in with Heidi for a bit more on the weather. Well, Matt, the grounds crew members that I talked to prior to the game said the weather we're experiencing right now is expected to move on as the game progresses. They said they'll put extra effort into keeping the field dry until this rain dies down. But despite it being a little wet at the moment, we should get this one in uninterrupted. Let's hope, Heidi, for all of our sake, that Mother Nature takes that front and passes it through without an incident. Standing in, Giancarlo Stanton. And as you take a look at the splits here, he's actually better against right-handed pitching this season. Infield in the overshift here, now the pitch. First pitch hacking here, and that's the first strike. Wow, I think the heart of this system is right on top of us because it is really coming down out there. This isn't an easy sport to play in the rain. He's ready. Here's the 0-1. Got him reaching there. Strike two. Beautifully thrown splitter right there. High 80s, down in the zone. Looks like a fastball coming in, and then it just drops off the table. You can get a lot of swinging strikes with that. Now a swing and a miss and Stanton is down on strikes for round number one. So here's how the Bo Sox are positioning themselves defensively. And guys let's take a look at Raphael Devers. Got rushed to the big league super quick because the guy could flat rake. Defense has lagged a little bit behind. Had some throwing issues early but working on his craft and continuing to get better every year. So striding in Torres having a very nice year currently second in the American League in batting average entering play. There's a lot of ways to get on base base hit a walk hit by pitch. This guy's in the top five on base percentage. He does a little bit of all of those things. First offering on its way. Strike one to start the at bat. Red Sox on top in the early going one nothing as we play the second Zero. swinging strike and now it's 0 and 2 into the windup here comes the 0 2 pitch and he chased it in the dirt Leon has it but it's not in time and he'll reach first despite going down on strikes That's so good it. awareness that time good as that'll go as a strikeout but he's aboard on the drop good third boy. strike. Here's Didi Gregorius first swings for him in this one with a runner still at first and one gone. First pitch coming here it is. Now a fastball a bit too low here it's ball one and there are our umpires for this one working the plate is Dave Lawrence. Yeah Dan we got Dave Lawrence behind the dish tonight one of the best in the game I think consistent well respected accurate strike zone. Uh, D bro you hit it right there he makes you bring the ball over the plate will give a little bit off the strike zone I think the one thing that's important that he does he has the same strike zone in the first inning you'll see that same strike zone in the ninth. One one and he gets a piece here as this ball is fouled away. The one two nope. and he lays off it to even the count two and two. Boy that's a tough pitch to lay off right there just out of the strike zone but listen when you're a 300 hitter you don't chase a lot of those so called pitchers pitches this guy knows the strike zone. In the dirt here, but it won't skip away far enough for the runner to advance. There's a swing, and he sends the ball high in the air into left field, and it's off the green monster. 
And they'll have runners at second and third following the one out double. And this of course is a ballpark that yields a lot of doubles as we take a look at the team leaders for the most two base hits this year. And we find that these guys are currently fourth best in that category in the junior circuit. So stepping in, Luke Voigt, as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. First delivery to him on the way. In tight here with the first pitch fastball that's 1-0. The 1-0. Hit high and deep to right center. On the move is Betts. He's there to make the catch, and here comes the runner from third, as this should get him on the board. And the tying run is in to score from third. It's 1-1. One one. Stepping in, Aaron Hicks. And as we check the splits, not too surprising to see that his numbers are quite a bit better in the launching pad that is Yankee Stadium. He's set. Here it comes. Ball one. The set and the 1 0. And a good spot for that pitch is it's chopped foul. One and one. Here it is. Now, ball and two strikes now. That straight smoke at 99, guys. It's almost unfair. Here's the one two is put in play to the right side of the infield there to get it is Pedroia on to Pierce at first and the inning is over so one run on one hit no errors and a runner left we'll go to the bottom half of inning number two all tied at one and one. Into the box now, Xander Bogart. Lifetime in this matchup. He's gone two for six. Xander. Here's the first pitch to him. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. Lifted down the line and left. And this will wind up a foul ball. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. In the air, down the line and left. And this will wind up a foul ball. The 1 2. Grounded down the third baseline. And that's a fair ball as this one gets by him at third. The throw into second. The tag, and he's nabbed, trying for two. All right, here's how the Bronx Bombers are going to set up defensively today. And my spotlight's going to shine down on Glaber Torres. He mans the second base position unbelievably, but he can also offer his manager some versatility. The bat plays big time as well, and he has a strong arm. So one away here with the bases empty and that'll bring in the outfielder who's played for every AL Eastern Division club in his career Steve Pierce. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Now a check swing but he holds up in time ball one. And that's right there and we're even at one.
popped up and he'll put this away for the second out. So striding forward now Rafael Devers and he's a guy looking to break out in a big way hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. Here comes the first pitch. And he tries to hold back on the swing but I think it would have been ruled a strike anyway. It's nothing in one. Two out nobody on. Fastball and he's quickly in the hole 0 and 2. Lined hard toward right center. Around first, digging for two. And now that will hop over the wall. So he'll be a second here with two away on a ground rule double. Well, he definitely puts a charge into this one. And the outfielder has zero chance to make a play on it. Next thing you know, the relievers in the pen have another ball to warm up with. Ready now, Jackie Bradley Jr. Lifetime versus this arm. He's a 333 hitter. Delivery to him on the way. And this pitch is taken on the inner half for strike one. So far this year against Southpaws, Bradley is below the Mendoza line. A batting average under 200, unfortunately. He'd be the first to tell you he's not happy with his batting average this season, but he can beat you in a variety of different ways, and he has to because he wouldn't be here otherwise. The 1-1. One -one. Fouled off. He pops him up toward the left side of the infield. LeMayhew is there to make the catch, and the side is retired. Red Sox leave one through two. We're tied one apiece. At the plate, Austin Romine, and he's looking to turn things around. Ice cold at the plate in recent action. Austin Romine. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Oh, and that one slung through the strike zone that time at 98, 0 and 1. Nope. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. Hit down the third baseline. But this will get foul. It's a ball and two strikes. Now a foul tip straight into the catcher's glove, and he's able to hang on to record the first out of the inning. Now batting. The third base. One out here in the Yankees third inning, and that will bring in DJ LeMayhew. He's ready. Here's the first offering. They'll try and entice him with a high fastball, but he wouldn't commit. It's ball one. A ball and a strike. One ball, one strike. And this ball is crushed deep down the right field line. And that'll wind up a foul ball just to the right of Pesky's pole. A great pitch there as he couldn't get extended on that one. And he's down on strikes for the second out. It's not that easy to make a good hitter look that bad. But that's what happens when you can bring that fastball and ride it in on the inner half of the plate right there. You can get some pretty ugly swings. Here's Brett Gardner now. 
as he'll take a tough pitch on the outside part of the plate for strike one. He'll attempt to put the ball in play for a change here with the first two guys going down on strikes to start the inning. The wind up and the 0 1. Good swing there by Gardner as he hooks this one foul down into the seats in right. Gardner is just shy of six feet at 5'11", a left-handed batter and thrower. His contract is set to expire at the end of this season, so he may end up hitting the market this winter. Yeah, Matty, it's going to be interesting to see where this guy lands at the end of this season. A lot of variables come into place. He's had a long career. It's going to be interesting to see if a team steps out past one or two years for this player. And a great inning here as he gets another punch out and strikes out the side in order. One, two, three, go the Bombers. Home half of the third coming up, tied at one. Digging in the switch hitter, Leading Sandy Leone, hitting Red just off. a bit over the Mendoza the line on the year. Sandy First offering on its way. First pitch misses here to the leadoff man in the inning. The number nine hitter in the lineup. It's ball one. And that pitch misses in the dirt, and it's 2-0 and now. Not a great spot to be in right here, 2-0, and but I'm not so sure why he's pitching this guy so cautiously. A bottom-of-the-order guy you don't normally see getting pitched like this. Outside, 3-0 and oh now. You could pretty much book it that a fastball's coming. A challenge fastball right here. He cannot allow the nine-hole hitter to get on base with the top of the order looming. 3-0 pitch. Is in there for strike one. Mm, and a good pitch there as they come after him and the count goes full. The M.O. of this pitcher in the early going is certainly establishing the inside part of the plate. He has been dominant. Sometimes you just got to tip your hat if a guy can effectively, consistently pitch inside like he is. And it's fouled away. Softly hit out to short. And that's the first down. And with one away, time for a check of the standings in the American League East as you get a look at where these two teams find themselves entering play. Second at bat, Andrew Benintendi. He went deep in his first at bat, and we'll see what he's got in store for us here. And hey, it was a breaking ball to boot. This guy's a pretty good off speed hitter. You could tell by that last at bat, he wasn't fooled at all. He sat back, waited, got the breaking ball, and didn't miss it. Yeah, I'm shocked he let that first pitch go right there. High fastball, but usually those ones travel the furthest. Bases are empty, one man out. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. Just lucky to make contact on that one as it's chopped foul. Another 0 2 home. 0 2 is a fastball that misses inside. 1 and 2 now. You know, Matty, I'm not surprised by that pitch. Raise the eye level a little bit. Maybe we get something bouncing in the dirt right here. The 1 2. Line drive to center field. And that ball gets down out near the wall and should be extra bases. He hit the corner and tries for third. The relay throw. Well, he is in there with a triple. Yeah, and most guys the that hit on the side of the field get a single or a double but struggle with the rest. Not this guy. He's already got the home run, the triple, so the hardest parts are out of the way. We'll see what the rest of the game holds in store.
Here's the second baseman now, Dustin Pedroia. the stretch here's the pitch nope. and a ball one and oh count even now at one and one Benintendi takes his lead at third with one away line towards center field in there, base hit, and that ought to get the run in from third. Now back the designated hitter. So first and third with one away. And into bat next, one of the best run producers in the land, J.D. Martinez. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. A changeup floats outside here for ball one. The intent with that changeup away was one thing and one thing only. Get a double play ball. Nice job to lay off it at the plate, though. Now the 1 0 misses for the second ball. Three and oh now. You can bet he's salivating a little in the box right now. He likes to drive in runs, and he's got a great situation and count to do that right here. Swung on and hammered. No doubt about this one. Watch it fly. Gone over the monster and out onto Lansdowne Street. So a three-run shot to left center, 19th home run for him on the season, and with it, the Red Sox have taken a 4-1 to -one lead. Well, he's given up two long balls in just two and a third innings of work, so it seems as though they might have his number here. Not sure how much more the manager wants to see. He needs to turn it around quick if he wants to stay in this one for a while. Here's Mookie Betts. And he takes ball one. 0 for 1 here in the early going. The 1 0 home. Just got a piece of it as it's fouled back. The 1-1. One, one. Takes a pass and misses. That's strike two. Offered at that breaking ball below the zone, and that's a tough one to spit on. But the key is recognizing it coming out of the pitcher's hand earlier and making sure that it goes up before it comes down. More likely to be a hanger when that's the case. The 1-2. One, is swung on and missed. He got him. The batter, number two. So bases are empty Xander. here with two gone. And that'll bring Xander. up the shortstop and one of the better two-strike hitters in baseball, Xander Bogarts. First pitch on its way. A fastball Xander. off the plate away. It's ball one. Boy, his pitch count has really spiked here in this inning. He's up to over 50 already. Now the 1-0. And he fouls this one off. The 1-1. One, one. To 1-2 one and two now. The 1-2. 
There's a swing and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. Not quite out of here as it's off the monster. And he'll make it to second base now with two gone. And with that double, he's two for two and halfway to the cycle. Gave it a good ride, and that's the second time he's barreled up the ball. So he's seeing the ball really well. See if his teammates can pick him up and bring him home now. Here's Steve Pierce now. This will take a look at a strike right down the middle. It's 0 1. Comes set with the 0 1. Now a swing, and he just fouls this one away. Open to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Boy, tough to lay off, but he's glad he did. It's one and two now. Hey, this is a big pitch right here. Can't allow them to attack on any more runs. Let's see if he attacks his own or buries something in the dirt. Hit hard on the ground to second. And that is through into center field. A base hit. And the runner from second is in to score. Now batting third baseman. Man, this is just not what he had in mind when the skipper gave him the ball in this one. He's given up eight hits, and we're not even out of the third inning. He's getting exposed a little bit here. Rafael Devers, the next to bat. It was a double for him in his first turn at the plate. Yeah, he did a great job to go down and get that one his last at bat. But I got to think they're going to pitch him up, maybe elevate something in the zone. Interested to see how he approaches this next A.B. Ball one. toward the alley in left center and the Sox keep pouring it on this is extra bases as well so now they'll have two men in scoring position following the two out double wow this guy must be a glutton for punishment because he's given up six hits in this inning alone not sure how much more rope you can give this guy at some point you have to try somebody different Digging in to try it again. Jackie Bradley Jr. He popped out in his first trip. Yeah, I don't mind him trying to drive the ball in the air, but he can't collapse the backside, and that's exactly what he did in his last at bat. Look for him to stay a little taller and keep that upper half a little bit more over. And here's a curveball that just about got away as it misses inside for a ball. Even though we're still in the early going, I think this game's at a tipping point right now. They've got a chance to put this game out of reach, but if they can't score any more here, the other guys feel like the door's still open. Bradley, or JBJ as the initials read, he's a veteran of seven years at the major league level. Keeping it down here as it's to one and two. And it looks like the Yankees will have a left-hander up and throwing in the bullpen. Four runs here in this half inning. And he strikes him out here, so he's able to stop the bleeding a bit as the side is retired. But four runs score in the inning. Three coming right here on the three-run home run. We're through three here at Fenway. It's now 5-1 Boston. Here's big Aaron Judge. He starts off the inning against a guy who struck out the side last inning. How did they get to him here? I'm not sure, Matt, that they want to stay as patient. He's been throwing a lot of strikes. They might want to start swinging a little bit earlier in the count. Here's the first pitch to him. Well above the letters with the fastball that time. And a strike to even the count. One and one.
One and two. Here it comes. One two pitch is a slider that misses two and two. Sliced hard on the ground. That's through for a base hit, and he's one for two now. Nice piece of hitting right there. He obviously recognized Cutter away, now stayed inside it, and was able to field. drive it the other way. John Carlo Stanton. Carlos Stanton now he'll swing and lift a ball foul off to the left and out of play he's 0 for 1 thus far and he lays off for ball one. One and one, here it comes. Swung on and missed, one and two now. I mean, that's almost an unhittable pitch right there. The downward action of that nasty split finger, add in the velocity in the high 80s, you ain't doing much with that. All two and two. And that misses there, so he runs the count full now. And he struck him out, so he's down on strikes for the second time this afternoon. Well, this pitching staff has done a pretty good job right there. Now back. That's the fourth second time he struck out. And we're only in the second game Four. of this series. That'll bring up Glaber Torres. This will take a look at a slider here that finds the zone for strike one. This guy's cruising along, pitching well as we enter the middle innings of this one. Less than 60% of his first pitches have been for strikes. If he could clean that up a little bit, he could really roll into the later innings in this one. The 0-1 on its way. There's one that misses high. It's one and one. The 1-1 one, one home. Now a ball swung on and heading for the stands in right, and that'll move the count to one and two now. The one-two is looked at for ball number two. The two-two just hung in there on that one. The 2 2 one more time. Line drive to left. Benintendi is in his tracks now as he makes the catch for route number two. Well, we've mentioned the now conditions aren't the ideal with the rain coming down, and that can make every play a little bit of an adventure. You really have to concentrate, and he did there to haul it down. Riding in once again, Didi Gregorius, one for one as he reached base with a double his first time up. And he's got to build off that last A.B. He battled. Usually when you battle, you get in that swing mode. A lot of pitches, go, you swing go. at the rosin bag. I love the fact that he was able to work a double. Last at that. Wow. And they end the inning with the caught stealing. Another look at the throwdown that results in a third out on the bases. We're back with more on a Sunday afternoon following this. 
just about set to go for the last of the fourth. But before we do that, here's Heidi Watney. Well, Matt, I talked with manager Alex Cora during the break about his thoughts on the Red Sox hitters to this point. And overall, he's really happy with the at-bats they're putting together. He said he's been really impressed with how they've hit in at-bats when they fall behind in the count. Five of their hits have come from those at-bats. And although they don't want to get behind in the count as often, it's a great sign that they're not defeated when they do. Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. Leading Ready off. for another for chance. Sandy Leon. Hope for catcher. one for him here in this Sandy. one. Even though they're up by a boatload oh. early on in this one, you can't get complacent and get lazy. They got to keep the gas pedal down because this team that they're playing can strike and score a lot of runs too. Zero. A swinging strike, and now it's 0-2. I'm going to chalk that one up to he didn't see it too well right there. To get such a late swing on an off-speed pitch, a good curveball right there to go down 0-2, he's got to regroup. One and two to the Red Sox catcher. One-two pitch is a curveball that misses two and two. He's got him on the ropes at two and two, but I don't think he'll try to get him out with another curveball. He's seen it already a couple of times, so it's not going to surprise him anymore. Ball three. Three and two now. Wow, from 0 and 2 to 3 and 2, and that last pitch on 2 and 2 wasn't even close. He had this guy in the ropes, but now he let him right back into this at bat. 3 2 pitch. And that'll get down for a base hit. Well, they've been treating him like a punching bag out there. As we take a look at the line, you can see that he's given up double-digit hits, and things don't look like they're going to get any better. He might not last much longer. So it's back to the top of the order now. And up next, the exciting left-handed bat of Andrew Benintendi. Set and the pitch. He swings and misses. Throw down. Perfect throw, and they got him at second. Very well could have been a hit and run attempt there. You kind of have to make contact for those to work out. He didn't, and his teammate was hung out to dry at second. In his career, Benintendi has a slugging percentage a little over 425, a respectable number. And a swing and a miss as they got him with the slider there, two away. That's not an bat he's going to look back on and be happy about. Obviously, now the strikeout result isn't baseman. good, but to go not down there. on three pitches and none not of which were even out. in the strike zone, as you see there, that's not a good look. Standing in now, Dustin Pedroia. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. He's working on a one for two game so far. And here's one that misses to Pedroia, and the count evens at one and one. There's a line drive, base hit to left field. And they've had some good at bats against him all oh, game long. It, it seems like it's just that's been that's hard hit after hard hit. As we take a look at his line here, the numbers do not lie. This has not been one of his better outings, and he'd be the first to tell you that. Ready once again, J.D. Martinez. The last at bat, Matty D. We heard this guy's a good fastball hitter. He got a fastball and didn't miss it. We'll see if they pitch him a little bit differently this time and mix in some off-speed pitches. From the stretch. 
A fastball here as he'll take a look at ball one, one and oh. Well, that was a big two out single we just saw, and for pretty obvious reasons, the inning went from totally under control to now. He's got to deal with some dangerous hitters here with a runner on base, and this is how two out rallies start. And this one's too far inside ball two. We're starting to see a lot more balls from him now and that's a direct result of him getting hit around pretty good. He's trying to do something different and it's resulting in him not packing the strike zone anymore. Three and zero to him now. Three and one to Martinez. Pedroia is off of first with two away. Three balls and two strikes to the DH for the Red Sox. All right, 3 2 count with two outs. The runner on first will be moving, so we'll see what happens. There are a lot of possible outcomes with this kind of play. And a good at bat that time as he lays off for ball four. And as a result, that'll move a runner up into scoring position now with two away. He did not want to let the hitter off the hook with two outs, and now he's got a runner in scoring position to deal with. Ready for another shot now. Mookie Betts. He went down on strikes last time up. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. And that one got a piece of him. As a manager, you never really want to put a man on by a hit by pitch, but no you Number absolutely two. hate to have it happen when it loads the bases. Bender. Now the pitcher is looking Close a little off. shaky, and the threat of a big inning is very real. Here comes the Yankee manager now up out of the dugout on his way to the mound. And he's going to make a move as that's going to be all for his starter this afternoon. So it's an early shower here this afternoon as this will not go down as one of his better outings. Your Jay Happ please. answers the call now from the pen here in the George. fourth as they didn't Number get the outing they were hoping for Jay from their starter. Happ. Here's Xander Bogarts now. He's got the bases loaded now and a chance to really do some damage. And he's one of those guys that they really rely on to come through in spots like this, Matt. Second on the team and runs batted in. Here's the first pitch to him. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. Oh. Missed low and inside with it, one and one. Oh, one strike. Five one, our score as we play the fourth here. down the left field line and deep and this will wind up a foul ball the one two fouled away this is skied into the air to straight away center and he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Red Sox leave them loaded. They lead this one, though, 5-1. to one. Welcome back. Heidi Watney standing by as we get set for the top of the fifth. Thanks, Matt. I talked with Yankees manager Aaron Boone during the break about the team's offensive performance so far. And one thing he mentioned to me was the lack of discipline he's seeing out of their at-bats right now. He said they've been chasing at pitches out of the zone all game, which obviously doesn't usually lead to good results. Until they start being more selective with their swings, he said they will continue to struggle. All right. Thanks, Heidi. 
Coming to the plate now, Didi Gregorius. He'll start off the fifth in this one. This one doesn't look good so far. Down by a boatload as we enter the middle innings. It's about time they get something going. And the last thing you want to do is fall behind where you have to score a bunch in the eighth and ninth inning. And he lays off a pitch in there for the first strike. That pitch is in triple digits. I think he had to take that one because I'm not even sure he saw it. And he gets him to swing through that one. He's in control 0 and 2. Uh, got him swinging on the split fingered pitch, and that's out number one. And you see it there on your screen. Strikeout number 100 for him on the year, and that ain't bad. Striding in, Luke Voigt picked up an RBI on a sack fly in his first appearance. Ready with the first pitch, here it comes. Just able to get a piece of that for strike one. This year against right-handed pitching, Voigt is hitting just over the benchmark 300 plateau. Source of pride for him, I'm sure. These are the stats the oppositions look at, being great with runners in scoring position. He has certainly been that, and he's able to slow the moment down. It's a 5-1 game here in inning number five. Fouled off. Another 1 2 delivery. Ball, Ball two. Two, two, two. Line but speared on a hop. Over to the first baseman, yeah. Pierce, and there are two gone now. Now that Digging the in, Aaron field. Hicks Aaron. comes into this at bat yeah. 0 for 1 in the ballgame. Here's the first pitch to him. Oh. Low for ball one. Ball one, no strike. Weak grounder down the first baseline, but a foul ball, one and one. The one one home. Takes a pitch for strike number two. I got to count one and two. Two balls ball and two ball. strikes to Hicks now. I got to count two and two. Three and two to the Yankee center fielder. Wow, talk about a waste pitch on two and two. That one wasn't even close. I don't know anyone that would have swung at that pitch. And he struck him out, his eighth punch out of the ball game, and that one ends the inning. So the Yanks go one, two, three. They're down five to one. Digging in and looking for more. Steve Pierce, to go. a hit in two tries so far. The first baseman, Steve Pierce. Now the pitch. And that misses for ball one. There's a change up taken, but it finds the zone on the inside. Now the one and one pitch is laid off for ball two. Just behind the fastball there. Two strikes now. Two strikes. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Gregorius is there. Oh, look at Didi. Got him. And that's a huge play to keep the leadoff man off base. The third baseman, Rafael Gabbard.
Into the box, Rafael Devers. As he'll take a look at a slider here that misses for ball one. In past meetings with Jay Happ, just three for 14. The 1 0 home is a slider taken for a ball. I don't mind him trying to pitch him backwards right there with those two early count sliders. But now he finds himself in a situation where he's going to have to come fastball. Nope. Three and oh. Three balls. No strike. Five runs, 11 hits, and no errors for the Red Sox to this point. Three and one. Three and two, the count for Rafael Devers. Three, two. Scorch to third. On to first, and Hap's rolling now, two away. Now batting. The center fielder, Jackie Bradley Jr. Here's Jackie Bradley now. He was sat down on strikes in his last at bat. And you can live with punching out with the bases empty, but in his last at bat with two runners in scoring position, you cannot go down not putting the ball in play too much on the line too many ribby opportunities out there to swing and miss in that spot into the windup here comes the 0 and 1 swung on and missed that strike two. in today's game if you're not disciplined for striking out why would you change your approach with two strikes right here expect this guy to try and drive the baseball right here might have been looking to find that outside corner but he couldn't quite get it there it's one and two. It's a great job to lay off on that nasty slider right there. It's the toughest pitch. It was my toughest pitch to lay off of. I was always sitting fastball middle away, and when that slider came out, boy, did it look like a heater for a long time. And Stanton will put this one away, and the inning is over. Down in order go the Red Sox. They're up 5-1. to one. Stepping into the box, Austin Romine. He'll start things out in the sixth the for a lineup that really hasn't found its groove in this one. Austin. Yeah, only two hits so far, Matt, and not very many hard hit balls either. We'll see if they can start making some adjustments. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Now a fastball to start things out. Didn't miss by a lot, but it's 1-0. Oh. Hot shot to third and handled for the first out. Now batting. Third baseman, D.J. LeMahieu. Digging in once again, D.J. LeMahieu. He's hitless in his two at-bats so far. First pitch of the at bat. Nope. There's a slider to start things out. Looked at for ball one. Hey, I hope that call doesn't throw him off his game right here. He's been pitching one heck of a game, and I'd hate to see the umpire get in his head right now. Well, should be 2 and 0, oh, but he goes way out of the zone to go after that one, and it's even 1 and 1. I know we want to focus on the offense and how bad they've been so far, but can we give some love to the pitcher? He has had these guys in the rocking chair all day. Line drive to left, but pretty much right at the left fielder as he takes it in for the second out. Up next for the Yankees, the designated hitter, Brett Garcher. Two away now in the Yankees sixth and up next the left handed hitting Brett Gardner. First pitch coming here it is. In there and it's 0 and 1. 
stay on the attack if you're the pitcher right here you know who's lurking three four five and you'd love to see that number three hole hitter lead that next inning off. Into the windup here comes the 0 and 1. Rip down the first baseline but this will wind up a foul ball strike two. Into the windup here comes the 0 2 pitch. And he's got himself another one as he picks up strikeout number nine here and the side is retired. One two three go the Bombers. They're down here five to one. In now Sandy Leone. He Leading singled his last time up. Top. The catcher. Sandy. Leone. And now pitch on the way. Here's a strike with the breaking ball. Oh, got him a swing out of his shoes on that one. Nothing in two. And the slider is low and inside as he just about got him there. Well, this team, they're swinging at everything, but that pitch was just a little too far out of the strike zone. Fastball swung on and missed for the first out. This is why it's so hard to be successful as a hitter when you now fall that, behind in the count. One and fielder. two, you're probably expecting Andrew. some sort of off speed Andrew. pitches, but Andrew. when the pitcher offers up a good hard fastball, it's pretty hard to adjust and catch up to it. The left handed hitting Andrew Benintendi stands in. No balls and a strike to count. Oh and two the count to Ben Intendi. Two mid 90s fastballs and you're down 0 2. This is where you got to take a deep breath and pop commit. You're either all in on another fastball or you're finding a way to stay back to attack something off speed. Good change up in the dirt strike three and he makes the throw to first Ben Intendi is retired two down now. The second base now with the play Dustin Pedroia two hits in three at bats for him in this one. Pitch of the at bat. First pitch fastball in there for a called strike. To me, getting ahead 0 1, it's the most important pitch in the game, Matty. I, it puts the hitter on the defensive. I can only think of myself being in the batter's box. When I'm sitting 1 0, I am all over the gas, or I am allowed the opportunity to sit on something without fearing going 1 1. When you're down 0 1, your head's on a swivel. Voigt is there, and the side is retired. Red Sox go down one two three. They lead this one though five to one. Welcome back to Fenway Park here in the great city of Boston. Red Sox on top in this one as we get set for the seventh. But first here's a look at our game summary to this point. Next for New York, Aaron Judge. He'll be tasked with starting things as we begin the seventh. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. One and oh, the count. Fastball misses away here. It's 2 and 0. Oh. Back to back pitches. They've gone away. Do you tell yourself as a hitter he wants to come in right here? I don't think so. I think he's trying to find that outside corner and adjust accordingly. Too tight with that one. 3 and 0. Oh. He's had command of his pitches all day. Hasn't walked the soul. But we find ourselves in a three ball count here. Want to see how aggressive he gets in the zone.
And he gets this fastball over back to three and one now. And a good take there as they'll have a leadoff man aboard to start the seventh. It's ball four. Well, he loses him there, but that's just the now first back. walk he's Let's given up, up, along with a couple Don't of hits. Follow. So his command has been pretty solid so far. Striding forward now, the Yankee cleanup hitter, Giancarlo Stanton. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Fielded by Pierce. There's one. But they won't get two as he beats the relay to first. Into the box. Torres. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And that's waved at and missed for strike one. Rounded up the first baseline, but this will be a foul ball as he's behind 0-2 now. Nope. And he'll try to get him to chase the fastball there, but he lays off 1-2. and two. Well, this is an approach we've seen him use effectively lately. Set up the inside and then get him out with pitches away. The 1-2 misses off the plate. Here now the 2-2. Doesn't hit the target. It's ball three. One of the things you want to do with a starter, get that pitch count up. Here's another productive at bat as this count now gets to three balls and two strikes. Now the three and two pitch. Gets him looking at the knees for the strikeout. I always like watching pitchers that attack now with their fastballs it. until there's a reason to start mixing it up. He hasn't needed many of the secondary pitches so far on this one, and there was another good fastball for a strike out there. In now, Didi Gregorius. As the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball 1 and 0. Oh. A hit and two tries for him so far. Off the corner with the splitter, it's 2 and 0. Oh. This is a spot right here playing first base. You have to really be on your toes with a runner on first, a left-handed hitter up and a 2-0 count. There's a pretty good chance if he hits this, he's going to hit it hard down that first base line. So if you're the first baseman right now, be on your toes and be ready for a bullet. And they'll back him off a bit with a fastball in, but it's 3-1 and one now. I know this team has been struggling offensively but here's a perfect situation with a 3 1 count you have a chance to do some damage you know you're getting a guaranteed fastball and this pitch misses for ball four so that's going to move a runner into scoring position now with two away as we look at the numbers we can now see that it. he's north of the 90 pitches right now so mm -hmm. it's not surprising four. to see him maybe losing a little bit of command we'll see if he can battle through this and finish strong. Now the Red Sox skipper's up out of the dugout and on his way toward the mound. And a change is in the offing as that'll be all for his starter this afternoon. So his final line will show six and two third innings pitched. He was very effective out Ladies there, no gentlemen. doubt. Matt Barnes will get the ball here as he now looks to get the final bat. out in the top of the seventh. Seven thirty two. Matt.
digging in now for the Yankees. Luke Voigt. And Dan, this could be a real make or break situation at this point in the game. Yeah, Matt, at least scoring one run in this inning is so important to them to possibly get back into this thing. Baseball doesn't have a clock, but you only have 27 outs to work with. They're running out of those pretty quick. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And he lays off there 1 and 0. Career numbers against Matt Barnes. He's 1 for 2. Stanton over at second. Gregorius at first, two out in the inning. And this one gets away. So now two men in scoring position. Well, you live by the sword, you die by it too. He went with an off-speed pitch down in the zone, and that's the risk you take there. The catcher can't come up with it, and two runners advance. Now they're both in the scoring position. Two and zero pitch on the way. Outside, three and zero now. Aaron Hicks would be next. Seventh inning here in a five to one ball game. This is line to left. Benintendi is there and he puts this one away for the third out. So a great job there of working out a potential trouble. Yanks strand a pair. They're down five to one. The designated hitter, J.D. Martinez. It was a walk hitter. in his last trip. J.D. First offering on its way. A ball and no strikes. Obviously, the game plan wasn't to let this guy beat you right here. He's already walked twice, and that pitch out of the zone tells me they want nothing to do with him. Low and away as he misses again 2 and 0 oh. double barreled action in the Yankee bullpen now a lefty and a right hander start to get loose. Three and oh now after two breaking pitches a pretty good chance right now you're probably going to get something right in the middle of the strike zone to swing at. so if you're looking for it go ahead and turn that baby loose. 3-0 pitch. And that misses ball four. It's a leadoff walk to start the home seventh. Well, that is definitely not the way to start an inning. One thing to give up a walk, but to do it on four pitches is pretty alarming. He looks a little thrown off right now. So here's the Boston cleanup hitter, Mookie Betts. 0 for 2 with a hit by pitch so far. Kicks and deals. Swing and oh my. Hit him with the high. And it's gone into the monster seats. Two runs on the board after the home run by Mookie Betts. Home run number 15 for him thus far as it's now a six run ball game. Seen these guys go deep three times so far in this one, guys. Yeah, Matty V. Well, D. Rowe, you kind of expect a high scoring game with that green monster here at Fenway. Yeah, it changes your whole mindset. No right batter. center's Number out of the two. equation, dead Stop. right field's out of the equation, Stop. goes to 380 at its deepest part. Unless you want to hit one down to pesky pole, you're looking to pepper that green monster. So far, two for three in this one. The 1 0. Is laid off of down and in. This inning really feels like it's getting away from him out there. As a reliever, you can't let that happen. Nothing you can do about what's already happened, and it's only going to get worse if you're not focusing on the guy in the batter's box. 
And there's a swing and a miss. Two and one now. Count is two and one. A bouncer to the left side. Gregorius gloves it. Throw on to first. So a good comeback there as he gets the first out of the inning. Now that is the first baseman. One man is out of the Red Sox seventh, and that'll bring in the outfielder who's played for every AL Eastern Division club in his career, Steve Pierce. First pitch coming, here it is. Nope. Lays off 1 0. A ball and a strike now. Now the one and one pitch. And it's fouled away. The one two. Backs him off the plate. The slider that nearly got him. A bouncer up the middle. A dive, but he can't get a glove on it. It's through for a base hit. The batter, the third baseman, Raphael. So digging in now, Denver. Raphael Devers. He was a ground out victim last time up. Yeah, Matty, expect this pitcher to try and get the same result that's his last at bat right here. The double play is in order. Anything on the ground, the way this defense is, they could certainly roll two. Ball one to start the at bat. Oh, and he had him guessing there, and it's a ball and a strike. Now the one and one pitch is taken for strike two. Oh, come on. The one two is taken for There's ball two. And he lays off, so it's full now, three and two. Now a swing, and the barrel of the bat breaks in two that time. Torres at the bag. On to Foyt, an inning-ending double play. But the Red Sox strike for two on the two-run homer. We're through seven this afternoon, and the lead is stretched to seven to one. Stepping into the box, Aaron Hicks. Career numbers against Matt Barnes. He's hitless in six tries. Here comes the first pitch. Swing and a ball yanked down the right field line. And now this will get over the wall down the line out there for a ground rule double. Number 28. When you play in this park where the fences are shorter, this is going to happen more often than any other ballparks. Into the box now, Austin Romine, as he'll look at a breaking ball that misses for ball one. No hits to this point. One ball, one strike to count. When that thing goes whistling into the stands, you hope someone brought their glove and is able to get leather on it. Now the one and one pitch. Taken right. strike two. And a big cut at the breaking ball, but he comes up empty, and that's the first out. 
Big curveball from a strikeout there, and that baseball. came after an absolute DJ. missile of a fastball. Lame. Even if you recognize the breaking ball out of the pitcher's hand, it's so hard for hitters to sit back long enough after they've seen a really good fastball. Only the best can keep their hands back on those. Stepping in now, DJ LeMayhew as he takes a fastball off the plate for a ball 1-0. He could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. The 1 0 is looked at off the plate for a ball. Outside, 3 0 now. The 3-0 is looked at for the first strike. Ground ball right side. Stopped on the slide by Pierce. Hats off to that one. Now that Digging in, Brett that Gardner. Career numbers against Brett. Matt Barnes. Gardner. He's one for five. From the belt, the pitch. First pitch is a breaking ball taken down and away for ball one. Looking at his lifetime numbers, Gardner has just over 100 career home runs to his credit. Now the 1 0. High and deep to straightaway right. Betts looking up. And now over the wall. And this is going to be ruled a home run. A two run blast to straight away right field number 10 for him on the year as is now a 7 3 game. You know as a pitcher there's nothing worse than getting taken deep but it's something every pitcher has to deal with even the best pitchers give up home runs you just have to refocus and go after the next hitter. The right field number 99 Aaron into the box Aaron Judge as he will swing and miss it a breaking pitch on the outer half it's nothing in one one for two in the ball game thus far. Breaking ball below the zone. That's ball one. Three runs, four hits, and no errors for the Yankees so far. And he fouls this one off. The one two is a changeup that's looked at for a ball. Still even at two and two. And they're working the outer half here, but that one's wide for ball three. If you're at the plate right now, you have to realize who's on deck. I guarantee you something's over the heart of the plate. You have to be aggressive in the zone right here. Another full count pitch on its way. A swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes, and that will retire the side. The Yankees get a couple on the two run home run. We'll go to the bottom of the eighth. It's the Red Sox seven and the Yankees three. Zach Britton will come on to make now his 40th appearance this season. Number 53, Zach Britton. Ricky. 
Striding in for Boston, Jackie Bradley Jr. He has off. a new pitcher well, waiting for him as we begin their half the of the eighth. Jackie Bradley Jr. From the stretch. And he goes against the shift there as this is on the ground to the left side. And that's through for a hit. And the Red Sox have something going. It's a leadoff double. Cutting it three. close here, but he comes through that in the eighth eight to extend his hitting streak. Yeah, and he was staring at his last at bat right there. Probably his last at bat. Would have been tough to get him another A-B in this one, but he's able to get it done. Hey, better late than never. And I'm sure when he walked into that batter's box right there, he's thinking, this very well could be my last A-B of this game. So if I'm going to keep this streak alive, going to have to do it right now. Standing in now, Sandy Leone, as he'll take one up in the zone, but indeed in the strike zone for the first strike. With this one almost in the books, the story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Well, Matty V, I don't know what your thoughts are, D-World, but boy, when the weather starts to warm up and the ball starts jumping out like this, it's clear that the pitchers need to start making better pitches. Yeah, just great approach. No one really chased today. Really stayed staunch on, uh, on their ability to get that pitcher to come into the heart of the plate, and they did damage with it. Baseball called strike three, and there's the first out of the inning. Yeah, as they say, there's a hole in his swing in that location. So a good job there of exploiting that. That can be real hard for some guys to overcome when teams start figuring out what locations you just can't handle. In now, Andrew Benintendi. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. Set and the 0 1. The Breaking point. ball that time that misses out of the zone. Classic change of speeds right there. Threw the hitter's timing off. Got a late foul ball. Interested to see where he goes now. The one two and he fights this one off here to foul it off to the left and that holds the count at one and two. Swung on and hit deep to left center back goes Stanton but he can't get to this one it's off the wall in with it is Stanton and that's going to hold that runner at third base. He's not going to complain, but he was thinking the what the rest of us were the thinking when that left is bad. Home run number two. Didn't oh, quite have oh enough, God. so he has to be content with the double. Looks as though the decision makers in the dugout will give him a free pass to first, so the bases are loaded here on the intentional walk, oh, and the, the force shot. play is now in order. The dedicated hitter. Striding forward now is the DH, J.D. Martinez. In previous meetings with Britain over the years, he's a 333 hitter. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Swing and a miss that time. It's 0 and 1. Now some action out in the bullpen as a lefty and a right hander begin throwing. The 0 1 pitch. That's in there. And he's deep in the hole now, 0 and 2.
Here comes the 0-2 pitch. Fouled straight back. Here's another 0-2. That misses one and two. Hey, this is a monster strikeout situation right here. A double play would be great in this situation, but I know he's going for the K. You get a one-two count on a guy, he's going to throw his nastiest stuff. The one-two hit the other way out to a right field. Catch is made. Here comes the runner from third. And the runner scores from third as they extend their lead. It's an 8-3 to three ball game. Hey, now talk about it. having right a productive inning. You like to oh, see dude. that. You like to add on runs anytime you can. And a sack fly here gives their team another insurance run. And they're starting to blow this thing wide open. Ready to take his hacks again. Mookie Betts. As he'll look to follow up the two-run homer he launched over the wall last time up. Here's the first pitch to him. And a sinker dips too low there. Into the dirt, in fact. Runners on first and third, two away. And he watches one miss outside, 2-0 oh now. His pitch count is getting up there in the inning now. He needs to get this frame over with sooner than later, so... Forcing contact and getting the defense involved is probably the best thing he can do. Two well count. The pitch is taken. Strike one. The two one home is in there for strike number two. Here now the 2-2. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Hicks on the move. He's there to track it down, and that'll end the inning. Red Sox settle for just the one. We've played eight full. It's the Red Sox eight and the Yankees three. Ryan Brazier comes on from the pen, hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. into the box. Giancarlo Stanton over three with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ball game. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Ninth inning begins as the first pitch is taken for ball one. Fouled away. And a good eye as he lays off, and the count moves to two and one now on the Yankee left fielder. Swing and a miss, two and two now. The two two. Hangs on him a bit that time as it's belted out toward deep center field. Not quite out of here. It's off the out-of-town scoreboard. And a good way to start the ninth as he's in with a leadoff double. Now battle. Second the more base. things change, the Labor. more they stay the same. Four. This guy's been producing at the plate all year long, and this at bat is no different. He's probably surprised it didn't leave the yard after the season he's having, but he'll just have to settle for a double. Into the box now, Torres. As the first pitch here's a bit high, it's ball one. But facing right-handed pitching so far this season, Torres brings in a batting average right at 330. So this is an at-bat you won't want to miss. His batting average right now certainly signifies that this guy is having a great year. I'm very interested to see how this guy finishes up. 
Well, both of those balls have been inside, so if I'm hitting, I'm looking for something I can get my arms extended on. Probably won't come back inside for a third time. Hit back up the middle. Bogarts has it. And there's one away. Now that so coming to the plate, Didi Gregorius. Although there are a couple of bases open, and we'll see if they think about working around him. Here comes the first pitch. He pulls this one into right. Betts is there. Let's see if they test it. And he's not even going to consider it here as he holds tight at third with two away now. Now batter, the first baseman, Luke Boyd. Coming to the plate now, Luke Voigt. And he needs to make something happen. They're down to their final out here in the ninth. From the belt, kicks and deals. 0 oh, and 1 the count. The 0 oh, 1 on its way. Oh, that's too much bite on the breaking ball that time as it's well off the outside. Count is 1 and 2 now. A crowd in excess of 37,000 come to their feet. And a swing and a miss as they definitely had him reaching for that one. And this ball game is over. Good job there to slam the door for the win. And they finish the month with a bang just the way you want to. 8-3 to three is today's final. The Boston Red Sox led this game from the third inning on and never wavered. Nate Evaldi with his fourth win this season as he racked up 10 strikeouts in the effort. Jordan Montgomery couldn't escape the fourth inning as he slapped with the loss. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com.